Previously, we've looked at how to build out a single answer, multiple choice, yes, no, true or false type question. But we can do a lot more with Microsoft Forms and quizzes than that. Uh, it could be, for example, that we want to check students' understanding or test their knowledge of concepts which involve more than one part. So it could be that there's, a, I don't know, an equation and you might want to ask them or find out from them which parts are involved in this particular equation or there are elements of some kind of process and which parts are involved in that process. The way in which we can do that is, as you can see, we can create multiple correct answer questions, which basically means that there's more than one response to the question that we ask. So let's have a look at how we do that. We're going to go to add new we're still going to go to choice uh, and this time straight away we're going to toggle the multiple answer toggle here we're going to toggle that on once that's toggled on we're going to build up our question and options as we've done previously and once we've done that you can see we've got our potential responses just a quick hint as well if you want to add another option obviously just click on here but another way you could do it as well if you're assigned already there you can just hit the enter key on your keyboard and that will bring up another one as well so Let's put that in. Now what we need to do, because there's multiple answers, remember, is to assign the correct responses. So which of these cities has hosted the Olympic Games in the past? Tokyo, Durham hasn't, Marseille hasn't, my knowledge, London has, Bangkok hasn't, and Osaka also hasn't. So we've got two correct responses there. Really importantly with the multiple response, multiple correct answer responses is the point system. So of course we've got two correct responses here. So logically we're going to put two in here you could give a value of two to each one of those and give it four you can choose of course how many points you want to give to that the key thing to be aware of at the time of making this video is that the software doesn't recognize that um, if you get one right so if the student chooses Tokyo but chooses I don't know Marseille as well the software will recognize that as being zero marks as, as in not correct that's not the correct response so you need or they need to uh, score both of these correctly in order to get the two points there's a workaround we can work with that and that's to do with manual marking I'll show you how that works in just a moment so we've built out our question we've assigned our correct answers if by mistake I've assigned one which is incorrect they just click on it again and that will take it away and then let's go up to preview and have a look what this looks like so here we are which of these cities has hosted the Olympic Games and we just need to check which one we think so let's go Tokyo and let's do that let's do Marseille as the mistake and see what that looks like when we submit so we're gonna click submit and then view results and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the particular question we've done and you can see that it says you've got that wrong you've got zero out of two you chose Tokyo, but you also chose Marseille, which is incorrect, and it tells us that the correct response is London. Let's have a look at how we can overcome that. There'll be much more on this on manually marking responses, but just for now, just so that you know, we go back, we go to responses, and we're gonna pick up review answers. And we're gonna go to that last respondent there, and we're gonna scroll all the way down, and you can see it was Marseille there, but what we can do is go to auto graded here, in the box here, we can change that from zero and put in one because that was the correct response so they got one right much much more on manual marking going forward but just so you're aware that when you create your multiple correct answer questions students have to get all of the options right in order to get the total number of marks available so it will only mark it as being 100 percent correct or not correct at all just worth bearing in mind and of course informing your students of that as well one other thing i want to quickly show you is that if we go back to the questions once we've created those questions we can also add the option to shuffle them around so by doing that we're going to click on the spots here more settings for questions at the bottom right hand corner there and can you can see that it says shuffle options so we click on that nothing happens here but when we go to preview we can see that the order in which those options appear will be different from the way in which we've constructed them behind the scenes. So let's have a look at that. And you can see that London's at the top, Tokyo's in the middle, it was at the top. And so every time the quiz is generated, every time a student picks up the quiz, these responses will be shuffled and so they won't all be in the same place. And if certainly if students are doing the same quiz over again, 
then they might remember that the question is the first one and the third one without actually having to think about what the actual content of the response was. So another useful tip for you to be aware of.